ang funniest thing doon, akala mo hindi ako nagtry ng Middle East. Nagtry ako ng Middle East, denied ako. Hello mabuhay, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Ira Lehman, ang owner and founder ng philcomuk.com website. Ang philcomuk.com po ay isang online directory ng mga Filipino events, businesses, at organizations dito po sa United Kingdom. Kaya kung kayo pa isang Filipino business owner, event organizer, or community leader, I'd like to invite you to add your listing to our website for free. At ngayon po sa third episode ng ating Philcom Features. Ang Philcom Features po pala, by the way, ay isang interview series uh, tungkol sa mga kababayan natin. Uh, na lumipat sa United Kingdom and we want to talk about their adventures and how they managed to establish themselves here in the UK at yung success story din po nila. And for my third guest today, um, I'm pretty excited na actually to introduce um, our third guest to you. Isa po siyang veteran nurse, um, blogger, content creator, at community leader um, of almost 10,000 people strong, huh? um, mainly for healthcare workers here in the UK. Kasi alam niyo po, madami po tayong mga healthcare workers dito sa United Kingdom. I think around 20,000 people strong. And imagine this community has got almost 10,000 people huh? na actively contributing and engaging um, with, with, that, with that group. And siya rin po yung co-founder ng FilipinoUKNurse.com website. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our third guest. Drum roll, please. Manong George! Hey, Hi. thank you. Thank you, Ira. Thanks so much uh, for making the time. Well, I'm so pleased uh, to be a guest. Uh, no? I'm so honored. No, I'm uh, alam ko naman, uh, bigyati ng mga guests mo ako, uh, simple nurse lang. <laughs> Thank you, Mano, for making the time. I know you have been uh, quite busy as well with other projects. So mm. really appreciate your time and um, looking forward to our chikahan. No? Um, uh, how lo- so you've been here in the UK for how long na ba, Mano? Uh, should be nearly or well, over 11 years now 12 years me well, well nearly 12 years i'd say wow okay yeah. so over a good decade now no? that's yeah. right and uh, also nga pala, um where did the nickname manong george come from <laughs> so manong george is a, a nickname that i carried over from college years i used to uh, I used to study in UST, no, and uh, meron, meron, uh, may nagtawag lang sa akin, parang uh, kaibigan ko na sinabi, ah, Manong George, and it got stuck, and then when we were starting this, me and my friends, as I've said, co-founder lang, uh, I'm a co-founder, hindi ako nag-isa, no, when we founded this, and uh, pagbutohan na, I draw this, the shortest straw na ako yung magiging mascot, no, so, um, uh, we were thinking of a name, uh, so, something that would uh, speak to Philip Filipinos then and uh, so I remember na yung natin nawag sa akin Manong feels natural so yeah we uh, we used Manong George so yun yeah, and, and it's stuck since mm-hmm. I think it's a very approachable name kasi parang it feels like bro- well brotherly di ba kasi Manong mm. you know if for those those people who are not aware it's the term of endearment of Philippines uh, usually refers to an elder yeah. brother or elder um, male person not quite tito yet because tito is like siguro mga 20 years your senior diba? Manong, uh, one actually, to ten years ganun ba? Uh, na nakakatawa lang na natawa lang ako na kasi na-realize ko without this we just encountered eventually no? mm. people would call me Manong kahit mas matanda sila sa akin but <laughs> it's okay you know so parang ako parang okay uh, napapaisip din ako but it's alright yeah wow. Okay, and so you mentioned you graduated from the University of Santo Tomas, ah, no yeah. less. I think sila yung uh, parang the best producers well, of medical professionals uh, in the Philippines. I have I have to stop you there, no? Kasi ang UST, uh, I finished a degree in UST in microbiology, actually, not in nursing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so oh, microbiology. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. and then and then I took up another course. Uh, I was a product of that, you know, that early 2000s in the Philippines, that really was the nursing. Mm-hmm. If you could remember yung that time, na sabi nila uh, second coursers, kami yon, kasama ako dun sa batch na yon, and I did my nursing in perpetual. So ayon, perpetual, so. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, USD and then Perpetual, yun yung, ano ko, yeah. yun yung naging pathway ko into nursing. Ayan. 
So you mentioned in the early 2000s, so early noughties, di ba tawag nila doon, there was a oh. wave of, you know, the, the, the popularity of the nursing degree roles, tama ba? Do you know why? Mm-hmm. Ano yung nagpasikat doon? Or ba't na uso I, I, I think kasi ito, well, uh, I mean, I'm part of a big family back in the Philippines, no? And uh, hindi lang ako yung nag-iisang nurse. No? I had uh, a kuya who actually, pinsan ko siya, and he, he took up nursing then, no? And I think the popularity was yung 90s kasi, kaya bumalik yan, talagang nagkaroon ng big needs sa states. And then it followed na rin na yung Middle East was yeah. again needing more nurses, particularly Saudi, Kuwait, ganyan. Kasi ang, ang Middle East kasi for nurses, uh, hindi ka kasi pwede maging citizen ng Middle East, di ba? No, so you, you have, their yeah, so, so you so you go back home. So ang, ang need nila for workforce, may replenishment. So they need new blood again. So ganoon. Mm-hmm. Yun yung nangyari. Ang nangyari lang, eventually, uh, the, the United Kingdom caught on. Sila rin, dito rin sa UK, may, may, may pagkukulang din ng nurses. Then they, you know, it was just natural kasi nakita nila, uh, the world is actually hiring Filipinos. They speak English well, di ba? So why not? It just makes natural sense. And so, naging part ako nung wave na. In fact, ako actually, I was um, on my way to the States. I was uh, preparing for the NCLEX. When uh, the oppor- yes, uh, when the opportunity came for the United Kingdom. Ang funniest thing doon, akala mo, hindi ako nagtry ng Middle East. Nagtry ako ng Middle East, denied ako. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. And then, yun nga, UK came and it was, it's, hindi pa nga ako naniwala na. My agency told me before, six months you'll be in the United Kingdom. I said, mm, sige, hindi nga ako nakapasa sa Saudi, UK pa. And six months, I uh, was here. So that was uh, quick. <laughs> okay. And so, did you practice, Um, did you work in the Philippines then before? Oh, yeah. Anything elsewhere? How yeah, was that I, I, from... So you, you did um, nursing sa Perpetua and then you added, uh, you finished your microbiology degree sa USD. And then mm-hmm. did you start working straight after that, uh, finishing that yeah. degree? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so parang nga nangyari, if you think about it, so four years on my, microbiology uh-uh. and then that, I never had a, a, a gap year. That summer, I started nursing in Perpetua. Diretso. So parang two years yon. Uh, tapos ako ng October noon 2016, I started in one of the uh, uh, most popular and big private in, um, hospitals in in um, in Manila, in QC actually. Oh, I was gonna guess kung ano eh. I'm not, ah, so again, go, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a healthcare go expert, guess. pero QC, you said QC, pero I was gonna say St. Luke's. Yes. Oh, uh, my, so St. ibig sabihin may oh. sa QC. Oh, that's the original. St. Luke's was the original. Oh, okay. uh, Quezon City was the original. And then if you were pertaining to sa BGC, mm. um, yung mga original na BGC staff, the, if there are still people there na from yung first hiring nila, they would have been under my batch. I remember my last day in St. Luke's, uh, Quezon City. Mm. May, may apat akong trainees na nurses for BGC sila. So okay. kami nag-train doon, pabago sila nag-open sa uh, Bonifacio. Okay, so you worked as a nurse doon sa headqu- headquarters, I guess, or original um, yeah, so location QC, yeah. St. Luke's. And yes. then you started training other nurses. Agad yeah, it's part. Or, uh, naman, no, no, it's not. It's not because I had to train them, but it's because at that time, uh, patayu na yung BGC, and so oh, yeah. may hire na sila. So they needed people who would be uh, used to the Saint Luke's way. And dahil kami na yung senior staff by that time, because by that time I was nearly three years with uh, Saint Luke's then. So ayon, uh, na experience ko yung mag mag train ng uh, nurses for you know our a new branch ikanga. Mm. But uh, at that time as well, I was leaving na rin, uh, for the United Kingdom. Actually, alam mo yung buong unit namin na yon, um, um, wala na. Lahat ng mga kabatch ko wala na doon. Kapag nasa abroad na, oh, I've got oh. yes, oh, I've got people from that unit who uh, is now working in Japan, states, UK. Um, Oh, uh, meron din uh, other parts of Europe like Germany. And meron nga Russia. Oh, <laughs> May namit pa wow. na. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd see. <laughs> We're everywhere. Oh, I would imagine pag non-English speaking yung country, yung language is quite a big thing. Kasi alam ko, in Germany, you have to speak German. I know that for a fact. 
Um, I'm not sure about Russia, but I think you, you will need to be able to communicate in Russian pag doon ka magbe-base, diba? Not sure. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, ano kalimutan? Ano, ano ba yung, yan, yeah, kalimutan ko tala yung English, uh, yung, yung uh, yes in Russian. Kasi yeah. I, I pick up these words, da, 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 yeah. <laughs> Spasiba. Ah, yeah, spasiba, da, ganyan. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> See? Yeah. Or even better. <laughs> Three words only. Three yeah. words. So you when at what point did you decide Manong na you want to pursue your career outside of the country? So because you mentioned you were looking at the US, Middle East, and then eventually UK, no? What uh, inspired you to branch out if you like? So um I I can only speak for myself now. I don't want to say na in general because hindi naman ganon no. This is just on my on my end. When um as I mentioned, microbiology yung una kong course, mm. and that was for pre med. No, I I wanted to to do medicine. Unfortunately, there was a uh, bereavement in the family, and hindi ko na mapursue yun kasi alam mo naman sa atin, mag-aral ka ng medicine. It's too expensive, lalo na I was looking into UST and just ko po, uh, hindi ko alam, bibenta ko yata ako yung kidney ko para makapag-aral ng medicine. So, the next best thing was because I've got a lot of uh, kin actually who are from the States, you know. So, sabi nila, well, we could help you and we have to be practical about it. Uh, the best the, and the quickest way to kumbaga is to make a life out of yourself na hindi ka naaasa is to go nursing para makarating ka dito. So ang original plan was after nursing apply for the states and work in the states. But then the opportunity came na United Kingdom pala ako mapupunta. So mm-hmm. that's how it just crumbled for me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. And and then so that so you um tried to move to the UK after hindi na natuloy yung Middle East? Oh yeah, kasi, uh, kasi uh, how do I put this? So, three years on ako sa St. Luke's, uh, syempre iniisip mo na rin na uh, at that time kasi Although say I I don't want to bad mouth Saint Luke. Actually, I have very good memories with Saint Luke's. Masaya magtrabaho jan. But then again, let's face it, ang nurse mababa ang sweldo, di ba? So if ikaw na nag-aral ka ng dalawang degree, ako nag-aral ako ng dalawang degree. Tapos at that time nanghihigi pa rin ako ng konting pera sa mga uh, tito tita ko na nasa state. So it I felt bad. So I I wanted to make something out of my life, no out of my profession. So that's why I tried Middle East. Kaya lang, actually to be honest, I was heartbroken. No, sabi nila no, we don't want, we, we can't take you. Talaga sabi ko bakit? Bakit? Ang sabi nila no, we need you full three years. Sabi ko, parang six months lang. I'm just passing this application now para, you know, pagdating ng full three years, ready na ako. But no, they wouldn't take it. Talagang uh, sama ng loob ko. And then, yun nga, it just fell up, uh, fell on um, uh, a referral from one of my colleagues. Sabi niya, George, try mo to. Kasi pag nag-try ka, baka meron akong referral fee, may 500 ako or may GC ako. Sabi ko, sige, hati tayo ha. Sabi ko pang ganun. <laughs> Siyempre, di ba? Bakit ikaw na? Oh, po, hati tayo. Oh, hati tayo. Sabi niya, sige, sige. Hati ang kita. Okay, fine. Yeah, eh, yun. And then it just went on from there. Okay. And so how was, so Obviously, when you were working on your application, you were working with an agency, but is that how it usually mm. works? When you apply yes. for a position overseas, usually the, the, the legwork is being done by an agency. Pwede ba yung ikaw lang mismo, yung solo application, ikaw lahat? Is that advisable? Um, may, uh, kung pwede, let's, let's divide your questions, you know? and this is in particular with nurses, mm-hmm. um, with nurses, you know? uh, kung pwede, yes, may, meron tinatawag na direct hire, kung uh, advisable, uh, the, the answer that, to that is, it depends on you, bakit, kasi when you talk about the legwork, ikaw ang maglalakad ng POEA documents, ikaw din ang maglilies with your, because uh, there would always uh, be either an employer or another agency na based in the UK to help you out, you know, to to de- to deploy you. So yung liaising non, uh, ikaw mismo kung kaya mo, bakit hindi? In fact, we've actually interviewed somebody na ganon ang nagawa niya, and she's be- she was very successful. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though uh, nagkaroon pa siya ng problem with uh, start ng pandemic yun eh, last year, uh, still nakaalis siya. 
and she's here now and she's got her family no so kung tanong pwede yes pero sabi ba niya madali hindi <laughs> it's a uh, it's difficult kasi syempre lalo na tayo mga nurse ang skill set natin pang hospital hindi naman so, para the oh yung hindi yung lays na uh, yes mag, magbabasa ka ng documents work na uh-huh. at least 20 pages tapos naiintindihan mo lahat in one go hindi ganon so it's different but possible Mm-hmm. So I think the easiest option talaga is to go by go with um, a reputable agency. No. Indeed. Uh-oh. Pero syempre, there's a downside to that, diba? May bayad ba yun usually? How does that work? Uh, ang kagandahan, ano, and this is, I think, uh, kung may mga kapanon nito na nasa Pilipinas pa, no? mm-hmm. uh, one thing that they should remember when applying to the United Kingdom as a nurse, basta kumpleto ka na nung requirements, like the English test, you've got the minimum scores, pasado ka na, and you have registered with the NMC, NMC is the Nursing and Midwifery Council, parang PRC equivalent natin sa Pilipinas. So dito, kung sa Pilipinas, ang lisensya mo handled ng PRC para maging nurse ka, dito sa UK, it's the NMC. So meron ka na, nasa portal ka na, registered ka na, pumasa ka ng CBT, wala kang babayaran dapat. Mm-hmm. Pag nag apply ka sa agency. All right? mm-hmm. Ang agency, hindi, hindi, hindi mo dapat babayaran kasi in fact, they get paid for you to be uh, uh, employed here. All right? So, wag na wag kayo maniniwala na ganon. And then, may isa pa. Um, sabihin ko na rin lang. Uh, to people who might say, oh, merong ano, student visa route. When applying for student visa route, uh, to become a nurse daw dito sa United Kingdom, yes, it might be legal, but I, I have to uh, uh, reiterate, ang visa that you would get is a student. Student. Anong ibig sabihin? Nag-aaral. So, ang ibig sabihin, no, pagdating mo dito, may restrictions po. May restrictions. Hanggang 20 hours ka lang pwede magtrabaho. So, what does that mean? Dalawang shifts That's in nothing. one week. The, how could hours. you pay? Exactly. And you're a student. So, you're expected to maintain payments. Alright? So, think about that. Okay, kung kung gapupunta ka dito to become a nurse at sasabihin sa student visa, then you're expected to study, not to work. So, pag-isipan nyo na mabuti yun. Hindi yun, ano, baka kasi ang expectation is you could work. Uh, I don't want anybody to think na pwede yun. No. Also, may isa pang way. Yung sinasabi nila, ba, parang Middle East, na magtuturist, and then mag apply Kasi pwede yan sa, uh, I think sa Dubai or sa Singapore, may, may gumagawa ng gano'n. Hmm. Sa United Kingdom po, pag tourist ng visa mo, walang mag entertain sa inyo. Uh, at bakit? Kamo. Because the penalties for um, yung employer na kunin ka on a tourist visa is mahina ang 10,000 pounds. So it's not worth it. You will just get menial jobs. Yung magti-TNT ka sa, TNT ka sa United Kingdom, that's not a good choice. Kung, kung sasabihin ko po yung totoo. Ayan. Sorry ha, kasi yeah. ano natin yan. Yan yung iba kasi, yan ang mga tinatanong sa atin. Yeah, exactly. And you, you don't know, you really don't know these things. And madali lang, kasi it sounds... Okay, di ba? Yung kung di nakayanan yung standard application route, try mo yung student visa. Eh, syempre, people who are really keen to come here, they would entertain that thought not knowing na... Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Kasi, and I think from an employer's perspective, mapapahamak talaga sila, di ba? If they mm. find, yung, if they try to work around that regulation, 10 k well, so... naman yung... Lagot sila. So, yeah, it's it's actually good to... And coming on to that, actually... Uh, Manong, so sa mga forums means na madami ako nakikita ng ano, and not necessarily related to nursing, pero I think that's relevant as well. Yung mga uh, fellow Filipinos natin dito, or actually they're based in the Philippines but posting in a UK forum. Tatanong sila, may job applic- eh, may job offer daw sila natanga per email, ganito, ganito, ganito. Mm-hmm. Tapos with, with letterhead, with address, legit ba to? Ang instinct ko is... Walang company nagbibigay sa'yo ng offer na agad-agad na ganyan na in-email ka. Pero I want to hear your take on this particularly kung may mga ganun din ba sa mga nursing positions dito. Right. So, uh, luckily, ang nursing positions, dahil sa big demand, bihira yan. Pero, actually, ang na-encounter natin dyan is ang, ang illegal recruiter was based in the Philippines. <laughs> Nagpanggap siya na, na, na mayroon siyang agency connected with the London uh, Hospital and uh, marami siya na-biktima. Uh, pa, pa, wow. Isipin mo na lang ito, ah. ang na-biktima niya, may, higi, may isang hospital, uh, 20 people, I think? So, kung 4,000 times 20, that's 80,000. Ang puhunan lang niya is Facebook group. Galing. Galing, I mean, it's ba? impressive, pero, pero obviously bad. Pero, uh, like, the, the, you know, 
Di ba? Yes. Yes. Creativity. <laughs> to come yes, up with pero... such a scam. <laughs> Ang suggestion ko for sa nurses, ano, mm. if hindi kayo sure, alright, and also, ang kagandahan kasi, if you're applying the United Kingdom, ang sweldo ng nurses, mahahanap nyo, online. Nasa Google yan. Public Kaya, information, ma- no? Yes, nasa N- ang NHS banding is public information. Mm-hmm. So, dun pa lang, makikita nyo na kung nasan kayo. If they're offering you the world, then think, Hmm, paano nangyari yun kung ito ang standard na sweldo? How can you get this without just, you know? Also, um, uh, ang pinakamaganda is if nag-name drop sila halimbawa ng hospital. Mm-hmm. No? Ang kagandahan dito sa United Kingdom, you could actually email the institution. Mm-hmm. Inquire ka, oh, I've got this ano, from, uh, um, pinakilala niya yung sarili niya, sabi niya, uh, this, uh, this lady introduced herself as a... Uh, as an agent of so and so agency i would just like to check the verifi- uh, the, the i would just like to verify the veracity of this uh, of this job post pwede nga silang diretso and, and i bet you they'll be more than happy to reply to that means na tagal but they would so those are little things that you that you could actually do your checks kasi ang problema sa atin mahilig din tayo minsan sa convenience right ah kasi andiyan eh okay okay na yan i mean lahat tayo ako rin ganyan din but you have to remember when you're when you're working abroad, ibig sabi, you know, it's a big life decision for you, diba? So you have to put enough effort to make sure na hindi talo rin maloko, diba? Walang maloloko kung walang magpapaloko. Yun yung uh, lesson doon. Oh, I like that. That should be a meme. Walang maloloko kung walang magpapaloko. That's hoy gising. Hmm. Circa 90s. Hoy gising. I still remember the jingle. I'm not gonna sing that now, but yeah, it was also very catchy. Yeah, so, exactly. okay, pala yun, so they actually really respond to emails because sometimes I think people mm-hmm. don't even entertain that thought because there are institutions that don't even bother to respond to my emails. Mm. So, good to know, ha? that's a very good tip to actually email the institution and clarify. Yes, because I saw it. Uh-huh. Yes, share ko lang. May nakita ko. They go to, as ma, ito, natulungan namin ito. Uh, nag-inquire siya sa akin, pero hindi siya nurse. Kasi nakita niya na, na I'm from the United Kingdom and yun na ginagawa natin. Uh-huh. Ang pinakita pa niya sa akin, meron daw siyang solicitor na taga UK. And meron silang uh, website. And maluloko ka if you don't know uh, yung mga stock photos. Kasi stock photos, <laughs> lahat ng mga, kunwari, abogado, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Tapos may pangalan. And then nakita ko, yung mga photos na ginagawa stock, hindi totoo. Mm-hmm. And then oh, when I look at yun. the... Exactly. And then when I you look at uh, uh, company's house, kung totoo yung um, uh, law firm, hindi. And ito yung malala. They're all, they said na kailangan magbayad ng 50,000 pesos nitong uh, nagtanong sa atin via, to transfer via Western Union. Plus, hiningi pa yung bank details niya. So, sabi ko, mm, tanggalin na natin yung fact na peki yung website, sabi ko. Pero itong part na to, sabi ko, a- ano yung interview mo? Sabi niya, nakausap lang daw niya yung interview over the phone. Tapos may, mm-hmm. ang next interview daw was face-to-face online pag nakuha yung pera. Ay, sabi ko sa kanya, I can bet you one million times, hindi na kayo magpa-face-to-face pag binayaran mo yan. So sabi ko, um, my best bet, kumausap ka ng tao from POEA and then come back to me, sabi ko kung ano. Kasi I don't want to, masakit yun eh, para sa kanya. Naririnig niya na his dreams are crumbling yeah, down. Exactly. Kasi, tinawagan ko siya, sabi ko, ingat ka, ingat ka. Kasi sabi ko, tingin ko dito, this is a hoax. This is a, this is fraud. I could see it happening. Sabi niya, ah, oh, ganun ba man? So, hindi siya sure. But I said, okay, verify it with somebody else, then tell me if it's not true. True enough, after a week, sinabi niya, uh, manong salamat na himasmasan na ako. Alam nyo, uh, had we gone through, actually, sabihin ko sa inyo totoo, iuutang ko pa sa showin ko na nandyan sa United Kingdom, and hindi ko naman talaga alam pang babayad ko. I was promised na kikita ako ng ginto. Nung tinignan pala namin, manong, technician lang yung level ko, pero ang inong-offer niya sa aking sweldo. Anong bang offer niya sweldo? 12,000 pounds. So sabi ko ganito, ano yun? Per month, ano, per ano, year? Yeah. Ko, ano yun? Per month, per year? Sabi niya, sir, hindi niya sinabi, pero engineer po ako eh. Sabi ko, o oh, ganito, kung per year yan, 12,000 is too low. Hindi ka mabubuhay, sabi ko. Mas mataas pa yung may ibang, uh, pwede kang magkaroon ng social services, na yun yung annual mo, 12,000. Sabi ko, so sobrang baba. Kung 12,000 per month ka naman, sabi ko, unless super galing mo mag-football, baka 
athlete ka, di ba? Bibayaran ka na nun. In, in, imposible, sabi ko. Those numbers do not add up. So, ayun. So, na-share ko lang, sorry. Yeah, uh, no, medyo passionate kasi think, ako dyan. I think it's quite important kasi madaming, it's, it, we're talking about people's, you know, in a way, dreams to move abroad mm. and build a better future for them. And, Although, minsan, madali, you, you get blinded easily by the, the opportunity that looks too good to be true and a part of you wants to believe na totoo yun. Kasi parang, you know, diba? But I think um, it's good that we have, you know, your your community group, you know, people like you who actually uh, help call out the scam. Yes. To, to say it bluntly. Oh. Oh, oh. You know, gumawa rin kami ng video dyan and also kasi yung misis ko kare, kasi is a recruiter dito sa United Kingdom. So yung mga mm-hmm. ins and outs nung contract na binanggit sa amin, sabi namin talaga may mali dyan. Sobrang may mali. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. So when, how, so you moved here 12 years ago, di ba Manong? Yeah. You said. When must have, so that must have been... 2009. 09 na ba? Ah, 09 ba yun? Oh my God. So quick. Time flies so fast. Yeah. How was how was the move to the UK, Mano? It's Nako, quite a big question, uh, right? Oh, <laughs> maganda but, tong story and, ako. And also, uh, ano yung, kasi I'm sure the family also played a, a big part in the decision-making, right? Um, hmm. How was the reaction there from the family? Yeah, no. Yung natuloy so, ng ano, UK. Yeah, so nung una, nung umalis ako, biglaan yun. Hindi, hindi kasi talaga expected na matutuloy yung United Kingdom. I just, uh, nung nagkausap kami, nung mga tito ko, sabi ko, ah, baka pumunta ako ng UK, I don't know. Sabi ko, okay, hindi rin sila naniwala. Tapos nung tumawag ako next, uh, may flight na ako. So parang sila, what? <laughs> sabi ko, hindi, may usapin tayo na US. Sabi ko, eto na yung opportunity, ba't pa ako maghihintay? Hindi ko na kailangan mabulok pa sa, sabi ko, sa Pilipinas na, alam mo yun, na aasa pa ako sa kanila. So sabi ko, I, I need to make my own life. So, good thing naman, sinoport naman, hahan naman nila ako eventually. And I remember, uh, yung ex-girlfriend ko nun, which is my wife now, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ano, um, pumunta pa ako sa kanila kasi birthday niya na uh, uh, September 30, ang flight ko was October 1. Mm-hmm. Pero September 29 then was, sino ba yung bagyo na yun? Ondoy ba? Yeah, I think Ondoy. Uh-huh. Yeah, on, Ondoy was the, the biggest typhoon then. Uh, nilakad ko yung where I live then, Quezon City to Makati. What? Lumangoy ako ng baha. Ganun. Eh kasi hindi na kami mag-ever kung ano, hindi na kami magkikita. Birthday niya kinabukasan. Ooh, so, ayun. Oh, oh, so, pina- you walked yeah. from Casey to Makati? Yeah. Oh, alam ko naman yung shortcut sa San Juan and Mandaluyong. Eh, kasi, so, in the, when it was flood, flooded? Yes. Naman. Oh. Oh, oh, totoo, yan. Oh, oh eh, wala. Goodness. Yan, asawa ko na nga. Eh. Hindi, dati ex-girlfriend ko nga, di ba? Asawa ko na. So, ayun. Uh, so, Uh-oh. yeah. So, yun. And then, uh, natuloy din ako uh, October 1. October 2, dumating kami dito. And, uh, yeah, it was a very uh, surreal, no? Hindi, hindi mo alam eh. Yung simoy ng hangin, iba. Di ba? Pag, pag baba mo ng airport. Kasi that was autumn. Malamig na. Eh, di ba? Oh, exactly. For sa atin, Philippine, ang malamig. You know? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Malamig sa atin, parang 24. Yes. Anything under 30, malamig na yun. Sobra. Yeah. Eh, yeah. dumating ka dito, ang temperature, under 20. So, parang, <laughs> ganun, ganun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, ayun. Uh, yeah, and, but it was fun kasi I met their, uh, what are now like a family to me, no? yung mga friends namin. Kasi we were 23 nurses, same hospital. And that flight. So, nagkaroon ka ng instant friends. Oh, right? may ba. Ah, yes. Okay. So, yun. So, yun yung naging ano namin. Nun. And, Manang, usually when you apply for a position overseas and you go through an agency, meron ba silang parang, what would you call that? An initiation into the life in the country that you're gonna settle in? May ganun ba? Parang training or workshop na what to expect? Do they prepare? In fairness, uh, in fairness, they, they, uh, I remember distinctly, uh, may line nga na naalala ko hanggang ngayon eh. You can buy an 80 pound spaghetti in London. Hanggang ngayon, isa sa, sa lines na sinabi nun eh. Huh? Uh, yeah, I think, but, uh, I think that might be in the Ritz or something. Ah, okay. Sobrang oh, mahala. Okay. Yeah, but uh, the thing is, uh, para sa akin, medyo mag- maganda that they made that effort. 
kasi yung agency ko is still my uh, agency pa rin sila ngayon eh, no? mm-hmm. uh, so that they they made that effort but i think it's lacking you know mm-hmm. kasi pagdating mo dito ang you get an orientation but the orientation that your institution may be in the nhs or the private institutions what they will give is uh, an orientation of work Kasi uh, yung ano nila, yeah? But they forget that we are also uh, uh, people who would then live. We would become instant immigrants. And the life of an immigrant is very different if for somebody who lived here all their life. So as part of what I do, you know, uh, ito, project to ng misis ko na, na in, in absorb talaga namin is... Um, I work with other institutions like Filipino United and PNA UK and we source kung merong uh, mga nurses na bagong dating and we give them free webinars about you know how to survive their first month in the United Kingdom. Mm. Yes, and it's free. Totally free. Wala kang hihingi, wala kong no strings attached. Wala silang babayaran sa akin kahit ano, wala. Ni 5 dollars. But uh we tell them how how is how is it to live in the UK in a perspective of an immigrant. Kasi yes. I'll give you a perfect example. Uh, <laughs> ito, the recent story to dumating sila uh, sa sa United Kingdom uh, panahon ng COVID. Mm-hmm. May sakit siya. Mm-hmm. May sakit siya. Meron siyang condition. Eh, hindi niya alam yung GP. Ang ginawa niya, nagbayad siya ng private. So, hindi pa siya masumisweldo. You know what, how much he, uh, yung binayad ng nurse sa uh, private institution? 350 pounds for consultation. Wala pa yung gamot. Yeah. So, wala pa siya sweldo. Nabawasan na siya ng pera. But, kung, uh, if, you, if yung nurse na to was equipped with the understanding that actually, because I already, I, my visa allows me to use the GP services, that would have been free. 350 pounds could have gone somewhere else. Hmm. You see what I mean? Hmm. So those are little things. It's a big exactly. amount. For, <laughs> ano, <laughs> concentration? 10 minutes? Yes. Di ba? Di ba, both you and I, we've been here in this country. Mm-hmm. 350 pounds, hindi natin basta-basta papakawala niya. It's not a, it's not a exactly. small barrier. Hindi siya barrier-barrier. Hindi barrier. so, yeah. talaga. So yun yung mga ano na tinuturo natin. Uh, meron pa, ang shinare niya sa akin is, hindi niya alam paano magpara sa bus. <laughs> Kasi pinipindot. <laughs> diba? Kasi pinipindot. Oh my so, God, that's so sweet. Talaga daw tinitignan niya yung ibang tao. Hindi niya alam. Uneasy siya. Tapos nakita niya pinindot. Ah, yun siguro. So nagginaya. So, oh. I mean, sim- simple things. Malinit. I know, it sounds silly. Yeah, maliliit yeah. na baga na you take for granted and you don't even think. Kasi talaga, iba talaga. I mean, that's a very good point. Di naman, wala namang mga... May mga yeah, kung taga dito ka... Sa bus, wala eh. Well, some wala. Me, me, yeah, some, pero hindi lahat. And mm-hmm. that would be yung medyo mas mahal. Mm-hmm. Aircon. Di ba? Oh, yes. <laughs> e kung nurse ka, kung nurse ka, hindi, you, you try to be smart about how you spend your money in the Philippines, di ba? Yeah. So, ganun yun eh. So, yun yung diferensya. Mm-hmm. Meron pa nga eh, sometimes even teach them uh, about the heating. Mm-hmm. Ano, diba? what about it? Yeah, it has to be yeah. on all the time. <laughs> exactly. And yung iba-iba, may iba-ibang klase. Meron yung uh, pag tinabi nila, pag ang boiler mo is yung nag-iipon ng tubig, yung may tanke, yeah. hindi yung combi boiler. Oh. So iba pa yung mechanics nun kasi you need to make sure na napuno yun. Yung mga ganun ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, so these are the things that I try to impart to them. Kasi kami nun, I always tell them, uh, some of us learn this the hard way. Nagkamali muna kami. And there's no point na, ano, sabi ko nga, hindi tayo parang, uh, nandi, hindi na crab mentality na we want to drag other people. Kasi alam mo yung naririnig mo minsan sa ating mga Pinoy, ang lagi kong sinasabi, ang ating yardstick is sarili natin. We always say, eh bakit naman ako? Eh ako nga, ganito. Nung ako nga, ganito. No, it shouldn't be that way. Kasi nangyari na nga sa'yo, is it, would, you, would it be happy na makita mo pa yung kababayan mo maghirap? No, if you can impart the knowledge and say, to avoid this kasi nangyari to sa'kin, sa this is what you do. And that gets everybody a bit more uh, forward, you know, mm-hmm. and progress better. Yun ang, yeah. yun ang sa akin. Yeah, I think that's, um, yeah, I'm... I agree with that thinking na ni Porket, ikaw nagdusa ka or you went through hardship. Mm. Gusto mo yung mga everyone who follows after you, maghihirapan <laughs> din. I think we almost have a responsibility to make it better for the next, not generation, but for the next batch. 
Diba? Exactly. Because only then will we, like you said, progress as as people, as a community, as Filipinos here in the UK. Pag nagtutulungan tayo, and I think and I think that that is what I like about um your your work is that you're you're really creating a solid foundation for the Filipinos here. Well, particularly the healthcare workers, nurses who are coming here to the UK. And yung mm. mga maliliit na bagay na I, I wouldn't even cross my mind yung nagpapara sa taas, mm. yung kung paano mm. using yung mga boiler, yung mga libring NHS, di ba? Um, I think that's um, quite useful. And yeah, I just wanted to note na I, I agree with that mentality. Na, you know, it's almost our obligation to make it better for, for and, people who come after us. Yeah. And you know what I uh, what I've realized in doing this in about a year and a half now. Um, Excuse me. Those... Wait. You've only been doing this for a year and a half. Yes. Oh, okay. I'll get uh, back to that. Ish. I'll get back to that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So doing doing this in a year and a half now, the seeds that you plant, the young maliliit na yan, na pagtulong, it grows. So now they would remember, and some of them say na, manong maraming salamat, you've helped us a lot. Alam na pag kami rin, nag, ano, matutulong din kami. And that's good. And that's what you want to hear. Doon lang tayo aasenso lahat, di ba? Hindi na yung parang hilahan nga pa baba. Ang sabi ko nga, kung maghihilahan tayo, pataas. So mm-hmm. that we can all go, get better, di ba? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, you know, we, we would, hindi lang ikaw, hindi lang ako, not, it's not just you going to benefit. But you know the, the the greater group, like I said, the community. And sometimes you don't know, yung rewards non. Although I know you're doing this not for the rewards, pero yung parang payback, if you like, um, comes tenfold in some other yeah, yes. shape or form. Provided that talaga you give value. Diba? That's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so going back to your story, you landed sa Heathrow, I would assume. Yes. Heathrow, and then kasama mo yung uh, 23, ba? 23 yeah. na coworkers or. Um, yeah, batch members. Well, did you have to, right. straight, to go straight to work the next day? Ay, hindi naman. Uh, technically, the, uh, mabait naman yung trust naman eh. Kasi pag dating namin, technically, working day na yun. All right? Oh, and then they gave us... Already. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, tapos, uh, they, they helped us uh, with uh, acclimatization ng konti, hmm. like uh, occupational health, san yung aming magiging mga... Uh, ang tanong dito, accommodation. Uh, mm-hmm. Back then, kasi ngayon, iba na eh. Pero back then, they invited a bank, a local bank, to uh, to help facilitate our accounts. Mm-hmm. Parang sila yung naging, ano namin, uh, ano ba tawag doon? Ano ba yung backer? Hindi backer, ano ba? Uh, parang guarantor namin sila. Oh. And so we got our bank accounts within a week. So, ang ganda nun, no? maganda yung process namin. But again, ang, ang, ang focus nun was more for work. That's why, uh, yun nga, sinabi lang sa amin, go register with a GP. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman na, ah, what's a GP? Ano ba yung GP? Nagtitinginan kami. Mm-hmm. Siguro ngayon, yung mga batches ngayon, mas na-appreciate na yun kasi may ganang facility na sa Pilipinas. Pero sa kami noon, wala. So yun, very different. Ang una pa nga namin concern noon eh, sa mga kabili ng call card. Mm-hmm. Kasi wala pa nga na nun eh. Ang Skype nun, di hindi pa, pa popular. Yeah. Oh, Actually, so, yeah. call Messenger cards. Messenger, wala yun. pa. WhatsApp, wala exactly. pa. This was only oh. 10 years ago. That wasn't even so long ago. Pero, exactly. Yeah, I remember that. Look yeah. Huh. And yan, yeah, going back to what I do now. Kasi ang napansin ko, ang mga karamihan ng mga trust, NHS trust in particular, they give out SIM cards that are free, but these are the types that are designed for long-distance calls, like uh, mm-hmm. maybe Lebara. I'm not putting yeah. them down, but yes. Yeah, but they're designed for long-distance calls. Pero ang mga Pinoy nga nowadays, <laughs> they don't even do that. They do WhatsApp and Facebook yeah, Messenger. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. So what, what, uh, so in short, ang libara ba is really the best value for them. You see what I mean? So this is where uh, what we do is important para makita nila. And uh, there's power in being a part of a community. No, My, my commitment okay. with PNA UK and Filipino Unite, we managed to actually uh, uh, assimilate with some of the London trusts that trust us to to give this sort of uh, webinars for their nurses. Mm. So, yun. So, nakakatulong talaga tayo. And that makes me even prouder kung, an, kung saan kami nakarating, again, in a year and a half span, di ba? Who would have thought? Yeah, yeah. And um, 
when so during your first working years here as a nurse in UK, what were the differences that you noticed between being a nurse in the Philippines? Okay, apart from the obvious, of course, it's a different country. But in terms of mga ugali ng tao, working ethics, what are the differences that you noticed working as a nurse in the Philippines versus working as a nurse dito sa UK? The things that really, parang, you know, stayed with you, like you know, the moments ba kumbaga. Mm. Sa akin, ang main difference na napansin ko is yung uh, siguro iba na rin yung ano ngayon na sa Pilipinas, di ko rin mag-guarantee. But uh, coming from uh, one of the top institutions sa, U- uh, sa Pilipinas noon, uh, when I arrived here, napansin ko na uh, mas may boses ang nurses dito. Mm-hmm. Right? Alright? Uh, kasi ang uh, you know, you could speak. Uh, ito na lang eh, yung the mere fact that you could call a doctor in the United Kingdom via their first name, you can call Doctor John, uh, John. Yeah, then that's different. Pilipinas, ako na pagalitan ako nang hindi ko natawag ng doctor ang isang doctor. We're quite, we're quite um, <laughs> yes. fixated on titles. Yeah. Yes. That's true. So that's that's that speaks volumes because it gave us a bit of, uh, I wouldn't say say liberties, but the freedom to be able to communicate easier. Because it's hard to say when you're talking about uh, a person's life. Tapos ano ka? Medyo pinangiiwasan mo pa yung doctor na kausap mo. Then you're putting barriers. But if you're comfortable and you can say, "Doc, pasensya na." ginising kita kasi talagang yung pasyente natin is poorly, then yes, you're saving a life. Pero kung ibalik natin yung barrier na kailangan pang, oh, shock si doktor, ano tatawagan ko madaling araw, kaso yung poorly na yung pasyente, ano ba, pangit na yung pasyente. I'm using terms na nurse, nurse lang yung makakagits, ma- ma- no? pangit na yung tura ng pasyente, toxic na, ano ba tatawagan. Alam mo yun, pag tinanggal mo na yun, then it, you know, you could do your job better. And nakita ko yun na yun yung isa sa distinct difference. Kumbaga, it uh, it allowed you. Pero, ang napansin ko rin is with that responsibility, parang si Spider-Man, you've got more, <laughs> you know, meron, meron ka talagang ano, pinangahawakan kasi literally, you, they, the doctors rely on your judgment. Kasi, di ba, alam niyo naman, NHS. You're closer to the patient, really, technically. Exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ang NHS, uh, mga doktor natin dyan, stretched. So, yeah. kung pag tinawag mo sila, kailangan mo ng tulong, then you prove your worth because this is me. Uh, ito yung assessment ko. And then they trust you. You build that trust. Mm-hmm. Yun. Kaya, na-realize ko rin, napakaganda ng uh, estado ng nursing dito sa United Kingdom kasi we really do make an impact. Mm-hmm. So, E, pag tinignan mo yan, uh, ang, ang epekto natin is ang mga Pilipino nurse dito sa United Kingdom, we really make that positive impact in society kasi mm-hmm. that's what we do. We save lives. Ang galing, di ba? Yeah, I think by default, you already save lives, but I think the environment in which you work in, NHS, empowers you to be that, to be more of, to amplify that ability, you know? Sounds mm-hmm. like from from what you're telling me. Oh yes, that's true. But but I have to uh, to be honest. No, I've left the NHS about four years now. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh, what I can say is, ang nurses parin dito sa United Kingdom, and you could find this on surveys annually. You no, know? uh, generally speaking, uh, the most trusted uh, profession in the United Kingdom is a nurse, mm-hmm. and that's and that says you know a lot about the profession itself. Kaya na para sa akin the mere fact na ang Pilipinas ang pinakamalaking provider ng immigrant nurses dito sa United Kingdom, then ergo, you know, it means pinakamaraming trusted uh, people mm-hmm. is mga Pinoy, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. That's something to be proud of. Yeah, I think so, and I'm feeling quite proud myself. Not you know, not related to nursing or anything. But I think um, in a way, some people say it's in our blood because we are yung element na marunong makisama. I think that's um, instilled in us in some way, shape, or form. And I think that comes into good use pag nurse ka, because you deal with mm. all sorts of people. I would imagine, di ba? Hindi naman lahat ng mga pasyente mababait. <laughs> so <laughs> well, you know, uh... yeah. Totoo yan. But uh, that's it. Eh. I mean, uh, I think uh, meron tayong tamang timpla ng yeah. Filipinos as a, uh, as a nurse na tamang timpla ng professionalism and yung, I would say, yung care and compassion uh, embodies our 
you ano ba humanity you are humaneness mm -hmm. kasi yun yun eh you, you uh, ang professional nurse knows how to touch you knows how when to you grab a person's hand you mean knows when to listen yes both yes mm -hmm. both kasi um, a perfect example is covid mm -hmm. no matter how big you are muscular you are mean you are when you can't breathe Hmm. Nothing else matters. Yeah. And what can make that easy is the presence of another human being. And that would be a nurse mm -hmm. at this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, nobody can replace that. Kaya nga, once a nurse, you can always say that I've touched lives. Kami lang ang profession that would encounter a newborn at ang huling hahawakan ng kamay ng taong namamatay. Oh, wow. That's yeah, true. That's true. Yeah, really something to be proud of. And yeah, like exactly. I said earlier, Tama Bang figure come on, no? Twenty thousand people. Round about twenty yeah. thousand people in the healthcare. Well, I I NHS. think uh, that's just the NHS more or less. Pero, uh, there was there used to be a tweet from the head of the workforce work uh work work uh, work racial equality standards ng NHS. Uh yung previous director nyan, uh nag tweet siya, ang sinabi niya, there are about forty thousand Filipino nurses. In the NHS thousand. alone, so double yeah. than what I initially uh, had. And I think I think I would uh, be I would believe the forty thousand because you go to any NHS trust, lagging yeah. may pinoy. Yes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> diba? Oh yeah, 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 that's true. Lahat, lahat ng hospital dito may pinoy. Well, I haven't been to all, obviously, but the ones that I went to, mm. always at least at least lima nanjan mm. sa isang floor. Yeah. So okay, this is um very I'm very curious about this and um yeah. Very, yeah, just super intrigued. So you built um, yung was it Filipino UK Nurse dot com only it's only a year and a half years old, tama ba? Or, or yes, you, more yeah. or less. Can you can you tell us a bit more about the story behind the you know the idea of of creating a website, creating a community? Yeah. Sure. Paano so. So when we started, uh, medyo dormant yung ibang Filipino nursing associations na uh, dito sa United Kingdom noon. Medyo dormant sila. Meron and na parang, when you came. Meron na, pero yeah. dormant sila. And then I was looking into other communities. Ang problema sa other communities there, they would be confined to, let's say, their own areas. Maybe uh, communities in London, in mm -hmm. Oxford, in, mm -hmm. in Cambridge. Dun lang. So, ano sila? Isolated. You know, uh, silos. Operating in silos. You know? So, we were thinking, nung nag kami, what actually brings Filipinos together is online. Online issues. Nakakita ka na ba na binash na Pinoy online? Makikita mo lahat nagkakampi-kampi. Oy, ano, Pinoy yan, gano'n. Then sabi namin, so that's the way. <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the way. We can't really rely uh, on saying, uh, back then I was based in St. Albans. Should I say Filipino Association of St. Albans? It doesn't make sense. So sabi ko, let's do it online. And uh, we approach it in a different manner. We, but when we started this, we know we needed um, something to reach them with. Thus, the vlog, Manong George. All right. We know they they needed space to to speak. A community presence, na talagang palpable. Thus, the Facebook group. And then we knew we had some sort of consolidation, something that would make it uh, make the brand uh, legit. That's the website. So yun yun. Talagang pinlano namin yun. Hindi yun parang uh, isang araw nagising lang namin na parang ah gumawa tayo ng uh, association ganyan ganyan. Hindi. Talagang nag nagplano kami, nag-usap kami. We had um uh, uh what do you call this? Uh, we had goals. Kailan natin to pwedeng ma-achieve? Kailan? And then we achieved all of that. And fast forward na a year and a half. Uh, siguro kasi July kami nag-start eh. So yeah, a year and a half galang talaga. So who would have thought? Diba? And after that, ang, ang, ang outcome nyan is PNA UK uh, was reborn. And then there are some other associations. Okay. There are also some other associations. And some people might say, oh, eh, dapat, bakit ka pa nagsusuporta ng iba? Ikaw na lang kasi you started that. No, that's not the whole point. The whole point is being a community. Diba? Everybody's a bit different. So because PNA UK would... Uh, can stand with the NHS, alam yun, nandun sila, then we support them and they support us. So yun yung nangyari. So nagkaroon ng natural evolution. Mas maganda, mas lahat community talaga. Mm -hmm. 
And I think there are two key factors that contributed to the success of your 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 project, if you like, your initiative. Number one, ibig sabihin pala nun, in my eyes, may demand talaga for a community, but particularly for for the nurses. They're looking for a community where they feel na you know they're part of something, di ba? Na related to their profession and also you know to their kababayans who share the same profession. Number one, number two key factor, or I think that should be number one really, is they're actually providing value. Whatever it is yeah. you're offering them, talagang kailangan nila. They're asking for it. They want it. Diba? So, and and so, yung Facebook group nyo manong, 9,000 something something, that's very close to 10K. You mm-hmm. you managed to build that within a year now. Yes. So, so yes. 18 months. Like, yes. everybody starts from zero. So you started that group with zero. Well, one, you. The, the yes, kami kami group, muna. Yes. Ma or whoever. And then, uh, and then we started from there. Eh, kasi lahat kami, halos nurse. Mrs. Mm-hmm. ko lang yung hindi. So, mm-hmm. nag-invite kami. And then, nung karamihan, hindi nag-invite. And uh, yun, nag-build up kami doon. And then, ngayon nga, 9,000 nearly na. Uh, Manong George started from zero followers to ngayon. 2,000. Uh, 6,000 na, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Manong George on Facebook as well, five thousand. Yeah. And then the, the 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 hits for our website, we get about mahina sa amin ang two thousand hits in a month. So we can get two thousand anywhere from two thousand to five thousand hits per month. Mm-hmm. And that's big for a niche website, no? Because Filipino UK nurse, talagang sinabi na Filipino ka dapat, taga UK or connected to UK, nurse pa. Mm-hmm. So you know, small niche, we get how many? Thousands. Super so, uh, talaga yung audience. Yeah. Oh, and but, but we're very proud because uh, yeah, that I'm, very I'm very proud. Yeah, oh, I'm very proud. Thank that. you. Thank <laughs> you. Kasi, kasi dati, <laughs> no, honestly. Kasi when yeah. we started, alam mo, nag, ano, sa totoo lang, hirap kami maghanap ng guest. Mm. Hirap kami mang interview. Uh, nag, nag, uh, minsan kung mangulit kami grabe borderline stalking well, wine na and dine. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, hindi naman wine and dine pero <laughs> at least uh, social social media uh, uh, stalking talagang message message but then again it became part of us you know uh, hindi yung stalking but being being involved you know being uh, uh, being out there and yeah so I, I'm we're enjoying some success but we know we could be better so we're up for it then I think so that's maybe- Feeling ko manong, you're just at the very beginning. Kasi you've done what you've done over the last year and a half. Foundation pa lang yan. I think there are many more better things to come. Feeling ko lang ha. Feeling ko lang. Yeah. Sana nga. Yeah. Fingers crossed. And, and nga pala, so your audience, are they mainly Filipinos in the UK or sa Philippines? Or a good mix of both pa? Good mix. Kasi to be honest, nung tumut- nag-start kami, talagang ang, ang value was more for those who are coming in. But because we've established a good relationship with them, pagdating nila dito, may parang may brand retention na. They still want to ask Mano. So that's the whole point of it. So ngayon, nagki-cater na talaga. So ngayon, big mix na. Mm-hmm. And um, after helping however many nurses in the hundreds na month to, you know, either through advice or yeah, just help them with your webinar settling in. What do you th- what have you noticed were the most common struggles of the Filipinos who are coming here um, as 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 nurses? You mga top one or two na reklamo nila or yung, you know things that they struggled with um, at the beginning. Na napansin- so ang napansin ko jan paren yung unang unang struggle is uh, say na lang natin yung COVID yung una mm-hmm. lalo na kasi we've encountered people na dumating dito. And then one week COVID na lockdown. <laughs> yeah, and this was in what in March. Yeah. Grabe yon. Uh-huh. So hindi almost eh, a year hindi, now. Yes, visa. hindi pa nga nila alam nun paano san bibili ng bigas. And this, <laughs> oh, that's true. Yes, kasi ano eh, kararating lang nila. And then Thrown sinabi mo lang lalabas. Diba? Yes. Oh, oh. so di ba talagang super deep end sila. So yan yung struggles with COVID and um, nakita ko rin dyan yung uh, isang main struggle nila is yung, yung test pa rin. Kasi when you arrive here as a Filipino nurse, that no matter kung napasa mo na yung English siya yung CBT, yung first test, may isa ka pang test, yung tinatawag na OSCE. Yung OSCE. Oh, yes, obstruct, uh, ob- Observed Structured Clinical Examination. Parang return demo yan para sa ating mga nurse. No? Yung mga magigets nila yan. Buhay niyan tayo nag-aaral nun. Pero 
may yun yung takot nila eh, which is understand, understandable kasi yung OSCE is that's make or break pag bumagsak ka doon paano na may usapan ba na uh, pwede ka mag-retake ikaw magbabayad sino magbabayad ilang hanggang beses ilang beses ka bumag pwede bumagsak so yun yung mga usapan diyan so, kasi uh, help me understand manong yung OSCE is that tied to your OSCE. so OSCE sorry is that tied yeah. to your license to practice may ganun ba yes yun yung last uh, hurdle yun yung last hurdle nila okay. ano kasi ang 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 nursing ngayon dati nung panahon ko wala niyan iba kami noon ang we just did the portfolio yung iba sa amin nagkaroon ng presentation sa panel but yeah okay lang yun may mas madali yun tingin ko in a way pero itong mga bagong nurses they have to pass several tests wow. and the last hurdle is that OSCE mm-hmm. yun so yun yun so isa yan sa mga nagdadagdag ng ano nila and kaya ang ginawa ko to respond to that is I offer free webinars then as an introduction hindi ko sinasabing tuturuan ka namin ng buong OSCE do. it's just to say ano ba yung relevant sa isang Pinoy nurse na coming from the Philippines maybe para maintindihan nila kung ano yung to expect sa OSCE kasi hindi mo naman malalaman yan sa Pilipinas unlike NCLEX ang NCLEX merong reviewers uh, review center sa Pilipinas ng NCLEX mm-hmm. may practice nun. ang ang OSCE ngayon wala pa meron panakanaka lang unti lang okay so diba? Oh, yeah, so you're helping them prepare um, for that exam yes. in a way. Okay. Ah, okay, cool. So when yung, ano pala, yung orientation webinars nyo, is that, do you schedule that regularly or ad hoc siya kung alam yung may batch na parating? Or is that something well, uh, that you yeah, both, it, or? it works. It works both ways. We try to have at least once in a month. And then uh, through the power of social media, word spreads out and then, you know, we could get people to attend. But sometimes, meron lumalapit. Yan, yung mga, yun nga, yung sabi mo, dati ang stakeholders maybe or members of the community might be based in the Philippines looking for advice on how they can come to the UK. Actually, pag go na sila, may message sila. Sasabihin nila, Manong, actually, parating na kami. And then, yun. Then, it becomes natural. So, ayun. And then, pag na, they find that helpful, uh, problema yung OSCE, i-introduce ko naman yung OSCE na webinar. And so, it's it's all natural and, uh, kumbaga, is organic. Mm-hmm. And that that helps them throughout the way. And then, pagkatapos nun, they could be whatever they want. Sabi ko, pag nurse ka na, nurse ka na. Walang problema yan. That's mm-hmm. great, di ba? Mm-hmm. And then, of course, you know, that will open doors to many other things. They will have the option to, you know, become a citizen if they want, di ba? And yeah. settle or have their family come over kung meron silang dependents, di ba? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a um, good starting point. And luckily, may support system na sila, thanks to you. Exactly. Hindi naman sa akin. Thanks to everyone who... platform. Yes. Everyone who na sumusuporta sa atin. Yeah. So Manong, so you created this platform, or um, Manong George, no, um, alongside Filipino UK nurses. But how was your own journey um, getting to that point? Na na isipan yon your group. Um, gawin na natin tong Filipino UK nurse dot com or yung Manong George. What led you to that? I guess that that point or that decision. Ah, Kasi so I, I know you, you have a lot of hands-on experience, of course, di ba? Yeah. So just to give you a brief background, dung sa, uh, I stayed in the NHS, no, but uh, I worked for them NHS guru in years pa, around five six years, and then I did full time agency work. I also did private healthcare, and then now yung current work ko is with insurance, no. But uh, maganda yung sinabi mo na tanong mo, no, ano ba yung naging process? Kasi ang process nyan. I think I touched upon this kanina, no? Na we learned it the hard way. Uh, our, amongst our group, meron sa amin naka-experience ng bullying, alam mo yun, ng, uh, naka-experience na uh, di pala dapat bumagbayad sa ganito, nagbayad pa, alam mo yun. Uh, yung mga struggles na yun, it's a, it's a consolidated wisdom and knowledge for immigrants na sayang naman kung sa amin lang. And Naisip din namin noon, had, had there been a time na may access sana kami sa ganung knowledge, hindi na siguro kami nagkaroon ng ganung paghihirap. You know? uh, we wouldn't have to go that, through that struggle. 
And so, nung nag-usap usap kami, going into our 10th year, sabi namin, ano ba yung pwede natin gawin? Ayun. And then that's when we realized that, yeah, why don't we start a group to help? And yun, yun yun yung nabuo doon. Pero yun nga, kasi iba sa amin yun nga, nagkaroon na ng struggles, hindi din naging super dali. Kasi ang um, may, may ibang notion kasi ang mga iba sa Pilipinas na nakapag, nakapag-abroad. Di ba? Pag nakapag-abroad. Lalo pag UK. Hindi nga nila alam UK. London lang eh. Parang yung buong, buong, yung buong bansa, London. No? Uh-huh. So, ano lang sinabi? Oh, sa London ka naman, ganun. Uh, hindi. Hindi madali yun. <laughs> you might say that you earn pounds or, you know, maybe you earn a bit better. But the, the living, it's never easy. There's always that. Um, ang honeymoon stage, mabilis lang. Alam mo yun, na-enjoy mo yung snow. Six months lang yun. <laughs> Tapos nun, uh, <laughs> Uh, magsistruggle ka na sa kung ano man, whether it's homesickness, uh, adaptation to work, ang daming pwedeng mangyari. So, yes. So, that's where we said maybe we could help. Mm-hmm. And we started that. Yeah. Because I would imagine the competence levels of the Filipino nurses coming in here should would be on par to the, kunyari, kung dito ka talaga lang, nag-train, pareho lang. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been accepted, di ba? Wala uh, ka yeah. in terms of competence, would you say? And then, uh, in, no, I, just up on, I just picked up on what you said, bullying. Diba? What would, you know, I um, wondered why, you know, what would, well, uh, uh, it's like borderline racism, but I just wanted to clarify the story behind that. Yeah, um, kasi, uh, I would say, um, alam mo, racism and bullying, it doesn't, uh, sabi nila, diba, uh, it doesn't actually, ano eh, it's a cross border thing kai tayo pwede tayo maging bully and ano eh, pinoy di ba so nandiyan yan it's present it's the reality uh, it's sad okay. and i know Fair we're much. in the 2010s pero nangyayari yan and so uh, nung yung iba sa atin na nagkakaroon ng ganun walang enough tools to you know uh, to uh, how would i say this to adapt and uh, you know to get through it so, kagandahan ngayon, dahil mas marami ka ng community, then may masasabihan ka na. Then may mahingihan ka na ng tulong. Kami nun, walang ganun eh. Masasabihan mo lang yung sumunod na tao. Eh, paano kung yung sumunod na tao na yun, boss mo? At hindi ka rin sure kung paano yun. So, yun yung, yun yung sinasabi ko. So, yeah, ang kagandahan ngayon, nung platform na to, the more that you have a community, the easier is the communication. Then, the, be- the, the, the dialogue can be started. Then, uh, solutions can be found. You know. mm-hmm. And how was your own personal experience with adopting to the oh, for me, English ako, environment, I, working with, yeah. you know? I would say uh, it took people. me, para sa akin, it took me a full three years bago ako nakapag-adjust. Uh, akala, yeah, I know, it took a while. Wow, okay. uh, I think, uh, nahirapan din ako kasi, uh, yun nga, uh, yun dati kong uh, girlfriend noon, naasawa ko na ngayon, uh, we were on a long-distance relationship for... Oh, of, yeah. oh, I forgot. Uh, yeah. So you were having a lo- an LDR all this time? Nandito. Yes. Uh, wow. So it took a while. So, so di ba, so, yun, mahirap. Yeah, and now I understand why you walked all the way from QC to <laughs> Makati. Kasi, yeah, Uh-oh. it wasn't sh- sure when it came. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So, pag, uh, pag naisip mo yun, yun yung mga, yun yung pahirap sa akin, ang tagal. So, uh, nung, finally, nandito na yung misis ko, yung asawa ko na nun, and then, it was a, about building a life together naman. Yeah. Kasi, essentially, four years kayo hindi magkasama, then magkasama kayo, so paano ba yun, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, there was that part as well. So, it's it has its struggles. So, it's never easy. Kaya nga, sabi ko, yung platform namin, it's not just merely for nurses, it's also, uh, it's a, it's a fountain of knowledge and experience for immigrate, uh, immigrants. Diba? Makakatulong mm-hmm. talaga. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, like I said, I re- really um, I'm quite impressed with what you have managed to build. And I know you don't want to take full credit, but you know, when I say you, I mean your team, uh, your you, group. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, really impressed with what you have managed to to build over the, the you know in less than two years but you know yeah one one could say it's it was 10 years in the making diba because i of guess course. you needed yeah. that time then diba, to yeah. collect the experience and the wisdom 
Yes. So, so ngayon, Ito parang, yeah. parang sinabi nila, you know, when you when you talk, uh, when you think about a stone cutter that takes a hundred a uh, hundred uh, hammers hammer strokes to break one stone, mm-hmm. it didn't take the one hundred. It take the ninety nine to a hundred para ma breaking stone, um, right? To mold it into something, de ba? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so, manong I know because your platform really is focused on helping uh, Filipino nurses establish themselves or get settled in the UK with um, with a new life being a nurse here in the UK. No. What are your tips for someone who is aspiring to come to the UK and work as a nurse? Right. So if you're uh, if you're somebody who's watching this and you're from the Philippines or kahit nasa Middle East, sa ibang bansa, and then you want to work in the United Kingdom, I would suggest first uh, complete the uh, uh, entry uh, tests, yung English test muna, and then yung CBT. Uh, be informed of the NMC changes kasi po ang mga test na requirements nag iba yan. In fact, ang latest uh, na message from the NMC, they will change the uh, requirement tests, which would mean the CBT and OSCE by August 1. All right. So, ang kagandahan, what I'm trying to say here is that you should uh, know uh, where to get your information from. So, kung NMC, go straight to them. Pero kung gusto nyo naman tumingin sa website din namin, sa filipinoukanurse.com, we always update that to make sure that we're helping you. Ang kagandahan po ngayon, take full advantage. Hindi lang po ako nag-iisa, hindi lang si Manong George yung nag-share ng information ngayon. Marami na pong Filipino nurses na nag-openly share ng information, matatanungan, marami ng Filipino uh, communities that you could ask. But one thing's for certain, uh, hindi nagbabago, take your English test, take your CBT, apply in NMC, and then uh, ideally you have a reputable agency that can help you find a job here. Pagdating dito po, OSCE. Yan po, more or less, ang pinaka diretsong application. And normally, within six months po, nandito kayo to take the OSCE. So yan, sinamarize ko yan in about two minutes. <laughs> so is it like a realistic timeline to work towards six oh, yes. months from application to you? landing in his home. Exactly. Kaya po yan. Six Kaya months. yan. Uh, six months uh, provided kompleto lahat ng requirements. Even sa panahon ng COVID, nung na-lift na yung healthcare workers ban, uh, six months timeline kaya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you mentioned um, earlier na marami na rin mga ibang Filipino nurses dito that are offering their help. Interesting that you mentioned that because I noticed the same. In fact, Notice ko sa YouTube mano, and dami na ring mga nurses na you know are establishing their online presence and sharing their life then, which is quite interesting. Um, yung mga life in the UK type of vlogs, mainly vlogs sila, yeah. Yeah. Um, and napansin ko yung pinakapatok na YouTube video when it comes to Filipino nurses. Can you guess which one? Uh, seniors even man. <laughs> yeah, of so. course. No, I mean in terms of topic. <laughs> Ah, topics. Uh, uh, sino ba? <laughs> pino yung, ano yung pinaka, like, hot topic na like, gets a lot, the most views, do you know? No, no, I don't. Sweldo ng nurse sa UK. Ay, oo nga naman. Of <laughs> course. Yeah. Of course, lagi yan. Yeah. Kahit saan yan. Of course. And then, yeah, of course, you have a YouTube channel, which I know you covered that topic, di ba? I think that was yeah. one of your first, if not your first video. Na, yeah. Nakasari. And then... Sweldo pala. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so, in your... On your YouTube ta- channel, you, I guess that's an extension of your platform, no? of the Manong George and Filipino UK Nurse platform. Or are you focusing on specific topics sa channel? Uh, so channel, it, channel uh, I mean. yeah. So channel, I mean, it's uh, it's quite uh, reactive then, depending kung ano yung demand. Kasi meron naman tayong community that we could communicate with, and mm-hmm. kung ano yung mga kat maraming tanong, then then we could focus on that. Maybe if it's something that we could put in the uh, pipeline, then we have it on our pipeline. Na, oh, uh, at this time, maraming tinanong na ganito, but it's not really urgent now. And then yan, meron na kami na prepare and then nagkakaroon kami ng lineup. So that's how we how we do it. So in in all fairness, ang content namin ngayon talaga is community driven. Kung ano yung naririnig namin na sinasabi. So that's that's how we work now. So it's quite good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's the best way to go about it is because you're pretty much catering to what your audience wants. 
you know, man mm, talaga. And exactly. they're, they're the reason why you do that, di ba? Oh, oh, totoo. Yeah. So, uh, at the end, uh, at the heart of it pa rin is yung mga nurse na Filipino. Mm, That's what mm. it is. Yeah, okay. Manong George, thank you so much for your time today. Ang dami kong natutunan. And um, I'm sure um, yung mga viewers din ng video na to um, have learned a lot from yung mga pasikot-sikot about uh, life here in the UK as a nurse. At saka syempre yung mga resources na pwede nilang gamitin um, to, to help them settle dito sa UK. Um, and as a tradition, before I let you go, Mano, I'm not gonna let you go without um, giving me some sort of a hold with mine, please. Parang yun yun na lang yung ano, I'm, I demand that from every guest <laughs> I have in the interview, simply because of I'm a course. big fan. Sure. Meron ka bang hold with mine for me, Mano? Meron. So, sabi nila, kasi nga, nag-LDR ako, di ba? So, LDR kami for five years. Sabi nila, magmahal ka ng nurse. Mm-hmm. Bakit? Bakit? Kasi, sulat nga ng doktor na iintindihan nila, feelings mo pa kayo. <laughs> di ba? Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh my God. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you so much, Manon George. No worries. And Pleasure. all the best. All the best with Filipino UK nurses and nurse.com and the Man on George platform. And thank you so much. Oh, it's and my pleasure. Time. And a more power than Philco. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye bye.